Sacramento County Sheriff's deputy has been accused of using excessive force several times since 2008, and he is still on the job. Deputy Paul Pfeiffer has been sued three times for using his flashlight as a weapon. CBS 13's Angela Musalam is live at the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office getting answers tonight. Angela. Sam Adrian, we have video from one of those incidents in 2014 where Deputy Pfeiffer was seen hitting a man with his flashlight, but according to the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department, that video doesn't tell the whole story. It's gonna be up. I'm trying to get up like seven. This cell phone video from December of 2014 showing Deputy Paul Pfeiffer strike John Reyes of Carmichael multiple times. Okay, I'm trying to. And then the deputy uses his foot to pin Reyes' head to the ground. The sheriff's office explains. The officers have to make a decision at that point in time on you know, what is the safety to the public as well? But this is just one of several complaints filed against Deputy Pfeiffer. In 2008, the deputy allegedly tackled and hit a woman on the legs with his flashlight. And in September of 2014, Pfeiffer allegedly beat a man after pulling him over on suspicion of driving a stolen car. Two cases were settled out of court by the sheriff's department. The one from December of 2014 is still pending. So we ask, how is Deputy Pfeiffer still on the job? There is not enough factual basis to support uh, any kind of punishment or firing of the deputy. Um, that's why they remain on the job. Officers are accused of using excessive force a lot. Uh, whether that's actually warranted or not, um, it's hard to say, and it's a case by case basis. Elaine Centine is a criminal defense attorney in Sacramento. He says there are a lot of factors that need to be considered in addition to the video. You have to look at the circumstances, the danger that the officer was um, facing at the time, what the officer knew subjectively at the time that may not be known to other people. Sergeant Tony Turnbull says these are all factors the department considered before it made its final decision to keep Deputy Pfeiffer on the force. Turnbull says the department frequently reviews its training policies to avoid any possible misconduct. And if it is a training issue, uh, and I know it's been looked at, um, then, then that's something that we start to, uh, to approach during our annual trainings with officers throughout the department. And Sergeant Turnbull says deputies face dangerous situations every day and that a deputy can use his or her flashlight as a weapon at their own discretion. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's a real mm. tough line sometimes. You're not really sure if they're crossing it or not crossing it. But a big question is, if right. he continues to cost taxpayers money in these lawsuits, mm -hmm. at what point in time do you just say, we can't afford this anymore, just in terms of the lawsuits alone? So, Angela, good story tonight. Thanks very much for that.